Don't ask for no help. Throw that box at him. Don't ask me for nothing. Gotta be looking. <laughs> Welcome back y'all some more gameplay on this channel and these scary Saturdays We got something different. We instead of all these bases because I said I was gonna try to finish that I wanted to switch it up. I heard this game's called Night of the Consumers now I saw a youtuber play this recently and I also saw I remember seeing Corey Kenshin playing this during quarantine back in March So I thought to myself, I'm gonna give it a try. It was cheap. It's only about two dollars in case you want to download it I'll put the link down in the description now this game is supposed to be horror. I actually had a recording previous to this, but it is a full screen game and I didn't know how to close it properly so I wound up messing up the recording. The file got corrupted because I had to do control all delete. But nevertheless, I had glitches anyway with the last recording because like he wouldn't move it. Like the mouse was glitching it or whatnot. But enough of my rambling, you know how I have these long intros, try to shorten them. Let's just go ahead and start. I don't like that noise. I don't like that noise. I don't like that. It's supposed to be like working in retail, like Walmart or Target, like a supermarket. I've worked retail, but only clothing. Uh, you're late. Okay. But hey, since you're new around here, I'll cut you some slack. Thank you. My name is the manager. Got you. We're not too busy on days like these, so you can have a nice, easy shift to help you get settled in. But remember, I've got a reputation to uphold here. You won't have me looking like a fool in front of the other managers, would you? This store is the best in town and I would like to keep it that way. If any of my loyal customers are satisfied with their service, I will be hearing about it. Now, go find Jimmy. He's been working here for a while. Very loyal employee of mine. Employee. He will show you the ropes. Put your stuff in the locker and get to it. I got you. I got you. Alright. Now, I already know how the controls work, but I'm still going to show it off. <laughs> Knocking everything over. <laughs> this is like Resident Evil on the PlayStation 1. <laughs> Ooh. Not for weak stomachs. We back in Resident Evil 7? I can't take this anymore. I don't get paid enough for this, I feel. Look at that uniform. If I had to wear a yellow collar shirt to work, <laughs> I'm not taking that job. The rude customers. The endless amount of sick. Where's your mask at? The stains. I've reached my breaking point. Listen, it's up to you now. There's a lot of empty shelves out there. They need to be stacked before we close. You don't want to upset manager. Here, take this. It's all the notes I made while working here. Those tips saved me time and time again. Press escape to view the note any time. Whatever that means. Good luck. Forget this place. I'm out of here. He broke the fourth wall. You're supposed to know what escape does, sir. Okay, but yeah. Hold shift to run. Throw the box. Yeah, because you'll see why. I'm not going to spoil anything. I'm going to just get straight into the gameplay. Uh, okay. Press escape. Let's make sure the mouse is back. I can't change the sensitivity. I tried. That doesn't work. And we got this nice convenience store music, but let's go pick up a box and let's get started for our 12 hour shift. Pharmacy. Uh, is that, ain't that around here? No, that's all the way on the other side. Let's get something closer. Yeah, why? Okay, that's right here. All right, let's start. Let's begin. The mouse is actually working good. Cause it was glitched and I couldn't do anything. All right, let's go. Grab a box, you always need boxes. Pharmacy. <laughs> Throw it at him. I'm not giving, nope, don't ask for no help. Throw that box at him. Don't ask me for nothing. Gotta be looking. <laughs> I lost my knives, I need some more, the sharp ones. All right, kitchen equipment. Ain't that like over here? No. Oh, right here, right here. And I actually got kitchen in my hand. Okay, sir. 
I don't mind as long as you don't ask for help again. Me. They do this. What? And the thing that kills me about this is that this stuff actually happens in real life. People are at. Yeah, I threw the box at him. People will ask you for help with stuff when we have signs. It's like, if we wanted to tell you where everything is, we wouldn't have these big old signs <laughs> labeling every aisle. I worked in clothing, but I never worked like in a grocery store, like I've said before, but it's the same, more the same. People are always asking where stuff is. They don't want to look for themselves. It's like, if you would just look up, you would find everything you need. Lost your baby. Right here. Where did you go? Oh, right here. She just. Oh my goodness! Right here. Wait, kitchen. Oh my gosh! You stood there. Oh my. God. In case you don't work a job, this is exactly how it happens. They will ask you questions back to back like this. Run, run, break room, right here. Oh my god, back to back like this. <laughs> Give me PTSD right now. I'm going through the box. Pills. Oh, right here at the pharmacy. Right, see? All he had to do was look up. Alright, let me try to get some work done because we have to work before that clock in the bottom right hits 12. Or you probably can't see the clock because my face cam is in the way. I'm sorry. But there's a clock down there. When that reaches 12, we have to be done. Let's run. I hit her! You know what? I don't care. Oh my gosh. Thank you. At least you followed me that time. How you keep losing? Some garms. You need some clothes? Who says garms? Let me do my job, please. Nobody. I'm about to say. Nobody asked me for no help. She over here doing jumping jacks in the mall. I know you stink. Sweating it up in that jumpsuit trainer. Looks like you got to do a, <laughs> a workout tape. Give me a box! What? What do you want? Do a house party other day? My past pigsy? Alright. The music's starting to speed up. That means people. Come on. Grab this box. Grab this box. I'm going in here. Look at that. I don't really have this. Throw the box. Yep. Yep. Throw the box. My goodness, some suits, sir. Sir, right here, right here. Clothing. You went to school for 12 years and don't want to read. So? Where? Oh, health and beauty, health and beauty. Thank you. Oh my lord, can I get two seconds of peace? Why? Furniture lady, where's this furniture at? Now she's an older woman, so I won't spaz on her. I don't know where the furniture is right here. Oh, it's right here. It's right here. Now he's gonna ask me four questions. Mm -hmm. Go in his break room. Go in his break room. Go in. Yo, what is that number in the bottom left represent? I have no clue. Let's do what we can. Now our shift is almost over, and we're not done. See how the clock is ticking. Come on. Come on. Run to the break room. Run to the break room. Grab a box. Where's the other box at? How many boxes we got? Are you joking? Coffee cups. What? I don't know. Is that going to be on the furniture? I guess. No, kitchen. Kitchen, kitchen. Go to kitchen! Hurry up! I don't know where no coffee cups are! Maybe in the kitchen? I don't know! Ah! 
I just, ma'am, I just clocked in. I just clocked in, ma'am. They be killing me with that. Like, I be like, I just clocked in. You already asked me questions. <laughs> can I hate myself first? <laughs> Let me clock in, hate myself, and then you can start asking me questions when I'm three hours into my shift. Where did he come from? Snacks. Where did he come from? He teleported through the aisle. Now, who else wants to ask a question? Who else? Oh! Yeah, I already know he's gonna try to ask me something. The space <laughs> is glitched. You glitched my game, you lunatics. Let me just do my job. Alright, come on, hurry up. Alright, run straight to the break room. Break room. Break room. I wish you could do this on a regular basis, yo. Just run to the break room. Whoever made this game had to work in like a supermarket for like <laughs> 20 years. <laughs> Cause everything about this is so accurate. Alright. You trying to do your job is ask you all these questions. And it's like big signs right above them. It's those people who never worked a part-time job that do stuff like this. I feel like they do it on purpose because there's no way. You're telling me hurry up. First off, I'm not on your time. Like you can look at this stuff yourself. Second of all, say please. <laughs> but you know, people who never worked a part-time job that act like this. Listen to how my character is breathing, like he is terrified. This is how the workplace is though, it's terrifying. I will I will admit. Now I'm gonna look to the left. Let me run back into the break room. Get back! Move, man! Drop the box. I'm sorry! The box is gone! What the heck? Oh, I'm about to say. Where'd the box just go? Look at him. He's looking. Messing the place up, too. And I gotta clean all this up after hours. And I gotta clean that throw up up. <laughs> On my first day. Excuse me. that box! Throw it at her. Pick this up. <laughs> Magazine. No! Ask your question. I need to go to the video game model anyway, sir. If you ask another question while I'm over here, though, I'm gonna lose it. I knew he was gonna do that. What? Furniture. It's right here, sir. Aisle 16. All you had to do was look up. That's all you had to do. Throw the box! Throw the box! Thank you. I already knew what was up. She gonna ask me to find her baby. How you so irresponsible? Why you, first off, why'd you birth that giant baby? She waited for me to come out! She waited. She was like, no, I'm gonna wait as soon as you come out. Where is it? Oh, look at this giant baby. Where are you at? Mother. Oh, you're right here. I'm about to say, where did you go? A burger? Some cleaning stuff. I gotta go all the way. Wait, where's cleaning? Oh, this is like house cleaning. Right here, sir. I already know which one they're gonna try to ask me a question. That that lady. You wanna ask another question? Yo. Yep. Did you hear her voice just now? You and this baby dog. It's in the same place. 
Where are you at? Oh, you right here. Like, what's up with you losing your baby? It's a giant baby and it's making the most noise in this place. If you can't carry it, then just put it in a shopping cart like a normal human being. Oh my gosh. Ah, uh, you, you want drinks? This the wrong side. Here, take your drinks and leave me alone. I'm going to the break room. I'm running out of time. Oh my, this is how it is. You waste so much time. Excuse me. Oh my God. Right here, sir. A big title named video games. Now I'm gonna throw this box at you just so you don't get back up. Nope, nope, no, 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 no. Oh my gosh, I'm I'm literally not gonna finish my work. Because I keep getting questions after question after question. Come on. Come on. What is this? Cleaning. Where is it? Oh, now they don't want to ask me no question. Now, you, did you see that at the end? How they didn't want to ask me no question no more? Fire. Not fair. It's not fair. It's not fair. It's not fair. It's not fair. I don't like that. I don't like. Okay, well, there I have it, y'all. That's the end of Night of the Consumer. <laughs> If y'all want me to finish that game, just like Baldi, just, you know, leave a thumbs up. <laughs> it's pretty cool, actually. And like I said, it really does affect, like, the workplace. So, if you're not old enough to have a job yet, or if you have worked retail or worked a part-time job in general, then you understand what it's like having const customers constantly ask you questions, even though the signs right in front of them. It's so annoying. <laughs> I remember when I used to work in a movie theater, the main question they would ask, like, Where's your bathroom? Point right at it. They'd be like, oh, like, yes, all you had to do is look up. But like I said, I feel like people ask questions, especially in the South, just to make conversation. That's how I feel. Because when I go to a grocery market or something, I literally look at the sign. Like, I try my best not to ask the employees nothing unless it's, like, something I completely can't find. Then I'll be like, hey, you know, because I don't like to distract people from their work. And I don't like being distracted from my work. I'm like, you can easily find it if you would just look at a sign. But anyways, if you enjoyed this Let's Play, as always, I ask that you like, share, and subscribe. I thank you all for viewing the video, and I'll see you all in the next part. Take it easy. Peace.